It's been almost a week since YSL boss Young Thug was arrested on RICO charges, alongside some members of his YSL crew. Since he got locked up in jail, Young Thug and his crew have been having it rough. From seven extra RICO charges to poor living conditions and sudden deaths, the YSL crew has sure had a rough week. I bet you're eager to know all about it. Keep watching till the end of this video to see what's really happening to Young Thug in prison. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Young Thug Life in Prison On Friday, May 13th, Thugger's lawyer filed an emergency motion to get him released on bond on the grounds that Young Thug was being held in unreasonable conditions in the Fulton County Jail. Young Thug's lawyer, Brian Steele, told the judge that the rapper was being housed in total isolation in a windowless room. Steele also claimed that his client couldn't get any sleep because the overhead lights in his cell are kept on 24 hours and he has no access to media or human contact. Steele also claimed the food that the rapper is being fed is inedible. In all, his lawyer reported that the conditions violated the rapper's constitutional rights. While it sounds like he's basically describing a stereotypical jail cell, Steele says the conditions violate Thug's constitutional rights, in particular the 8th and 14th Amendments barring states from inflicting cruel and unusual punishment. Young Thug denied bail. Before speaking up to get Young Thug out of jail due to his living condition in there, Young Thug and his legal team had previously applied to be released on bond, which they were denied. Barely 48 hours after rapper Young Thug was booked at Fulton County Jail, he made his first appearance before a virtual court to determine whether he would be released on bond. Unfortunately, the rapper's bond application was denied. On Wednesday, May 11th, 2022, Young Thug was denied bond at a hearing following his Monday indictment that charged him with felony conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, or RICO Act. At the hearing, which was held virtually under the jurisdiction of Fulton County Magistrate Court, Judge Robert Wolf, the magistrate, stated that he could only rule on bond in the case of the seven new felony charges, as the initial indictment is under the purview of Fulton County Superior Court. To top it off, the state's prosecutor recommended that Young Thug be denied bond, arguing that he poses a flight risk due to his considerable resources. He also held that Young Thug poses a clear risk to hinder the administration of justice, as not all 28 of the men charged under the initial indictment have been apprehended. Defense attorney Brian Steele told the court that Young Thug had deep ties within the Atlanta community and therefore did not pose a flight risk, also recounting Young Thug's full compliance with the search of his home on Monday, during which Steele was present. He further noted that Young Thug has never been convicted of a felony and implied that the open felony case against him resulted from drugs and firearms found during a traffic stop that was sorted out four years ago. Finally, he referred to Young Thug's worldwide popularity, calling him the Babe Ruth of the music industry. Based on these factors, he asked the court to grant Young Thug a signature bond, which does not require the deposit of any money or property as collateral. Judge Wolf, however, remained on the side of the state, denying Young Thug bond on the grounds of his flight risk and adding that he also would pose a risk of committing additional felonies if he were released citing the four-year-old open case. Steele argued that Wolf's ruling would set a precedent for the Superior Court to deny bond. Wolf disagreed. I'm only making a decision today based on what's in front of me now, he said. Evidence against Young Thug. After his arrest and his 88-page indictment charges, Young Thug was also indicted on seven more charges and new information came out as to how the feds pinned him down. It turns out that Young Thug had been wiretapped for almost five years. The reason Young Thug got wiretapped was so the feds could pin a boss on the YSL camp with this messy situation. Reports claim that the 80-page RICO paperwork showed that Young Thug was indeed being investigated for multiple years. According to the paperwork, Thugga was on a wiretap discussing street activity. Some of these activities were revealed, 
and one of the conversations presented in the indictment read, defendants Markavius Huey and Jeffrey Williams, associates of YSL, did engage in a conversation where Williams and Huey were discussing a vehicle theft, and Williams directs Huey to tell another, if he doesn't take it back, he gone die. An overt act in furtherance of the conspiracy. Although there was no context in the section, one of the charges levied against Young Thug was renting a car that was allegedly stolen and used in the murder of a victim. The indictment cited another instance that showed Young Thug is the boss of the gang, and he gave out permission for all the dirty business the gang members carried out. The paragraph reads, Defendants Wunny Lee, Trontavius Stevens, and Jeffrey Williams, associates of YSL, did engage in conversation where Williams states, YSL rule the world, kid. 24M on a head. Y'all just start bringing me the money. Man, y'all, stop playing with me. An overt act in furtherance of the conspiracy. Another paragraph showed a conversation where Young Thug told one of his associates that they were getting soft because they hadn't beaten up or killed anybody. Associates of YSL did engage in a conversation where Williams asks, y'all ain't beat him up or shot him yet, then states, y'all getting soft. How YSL is holding up without Young Thug. Since Young Thug got locked up, things have been very grave and shaky for his YSL crew. Quite recently, one of YSL's popular rappers, Lil Keed, passed away. His brother announced his passing via Instagram. Lil Keed's brother, Lil Got It, confirmed the death, writing, Can't believe I seen you die today, bro. I did all my cries. I know what you want me to do, and that's go hard for mama, daddy, our brothers, nature, and white boy. Shortly before his death, Lil Keed allegedly posted in defense of the YSL label following the RICO indictment filed in Fulton County against a number of the label's rappers, including founder Young Thug, alleging ties to the Young Slime Life criminal gang. The YSL label is not a gang, not a criminal organization, not a mob, according to Lil Keed's post, but rather a family, a label, a way of life. Lil Keed was not part of the indictment in Atlanta that led to Gunna, Young Thug, and 26 other YSL associates getting arrested on RICO charges. Keed's partner and mother of his daughter Nature, Kwana Bands, was quick to speak out on social media about her boyfriend's death. I love you so much, baby. What I'm supposed to do without you? I can't breathe right, sleep right, nothing I don't even want to talk to nobody, Keed, I can't take this. Do you think the judge will release Young Thug on bond? And will Young Thug ever get out of these RICO allegations levied against him? Join the conversation, let us know in the comments section below.